welcome back to our third and final video lesson uh, for the year on percussion. So uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is set up. If you need some time to do that, feel free to pause the video. If you need help with any kind of setup questions, feel free to head back to the first percussion lesson video um, and you are going to find some help there. Um, so if you need to pause, go ahead and do that, but we're going to go ahead and get started now. So we've set up our drum set and stand, we've taken out our sticks, and now what we're going to do is start working toward uh, a time limit for when we are practicing. Now a good musician can practice as much as possible, and what we're looking for is a habit of setting 10 minutes aside to practice. If you can do more than that, that's fantastic, but if you're practicing four minutes, five minutes, you're gonna get that much better. If you're practicing 10 or more minutes, science shows you're gonna get so much better, so much quicker. So we're gonna aim for 10 minutes. This video will be probably a little more than 10 minutes. So if you follow along with the video, you'll probably uh, hit that or more, all right? So once our timer is set for 10 minutes, we're gonna start with our warm ups. We're gonna do our eight on a hand, making sure we're using our wrists, our hands are flat, and we're counting out loud. So let's go ahead and do it twice, one at a medium speed and one at a faster speed. Here we go. One, two, right hand, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. to technique number three. We're going to review single stroke rolls. So let's get out our book and we're going to turn to lesson two, page eight. <clears throat> now we're going to do the single stroke roll that we've been practicing. It is super easy, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, whichever you prefer. And we're going to aim, like we talked about last time, for the very center of the drum. Try and stay away from the outside towards the rim. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go, let's do a single stroke roll. Let's do a medium fast tempo. One, two, right then left, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, Last four, one, two, three, four. Nice job on that single stroke roll. We're gonna add a little something new and exciting into the mix here with our rudiments. A rudiment, again, is a practice pattern that you're going to get into your hands so that they know exactly what to do. This rudiment is called a long roll, okay? So this pattern is basically two per hand and then you switch to the other hand. So left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Because this is a little bit more tricky, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm still going to be counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But one and two will be on one of the hands, and three and four will be on the other hand. All right? So nice and slow, not too fast. One, two, one, two, ready, go. recommended to do is uh, play this one with a song that you like as well and um, what I had recommended is to pick a song that's a little bit slower because again this is <clears throat> a little bit trickier and it takes a little bit more thinking uh, and so I would recommend picking a slower song uh, you can start with a slower song and then move to a faster song um, once you get better at it, but I would recommend to start with a slower song. So I'm going to pick a song by one of my favorites, Billy Joel. And that song is called Uptown Girl. I'm just getting it loaded up. So let's listen for the tempo for a little bit, and then we're going to jump in. Okay, so we're thinking in our heads. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, here it goes.
So we have tried our long rolls and our single stroke rolls. We are ready for some book work. So let's take a look further down the page at lesson two. <clears throat> so we are going to practice number six and we're gonna do it twice today in this video because there's gonna be a quiz on it next class. Now quizzes in my class are not that scary. It's not something to be super nervous about. All you gotta do is play me a song, all right? So I do want you to make sure that you're working on all the songs on, them on lesson two, but a special focus is gonna be on number six, which is why we're gonna do it twice. If you do it twice every time you practice, you'll get 100, no problem, okay? So quick reminder, there is uh, there are two half rests. Remember, half rests look like a hat, the right side up uh, rests, and they are worth two beats. So let's go ahead and do number six at a very slow tempo, and then we'll speed it up the second time. All right, here we go. Number six on lesson two. One, two, one, two, ready, play. One, two, four, two. Great job. Now let's do it again and let's speed it up a little bit. Now, for the quiz, if you go that speed and you play it perfectly, you get 100. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go super fast, but if that was really easy for you, let's increase the challenge. Let's increase the difficulty. Okay? <clears throat> Here we go. Number six, one more time. Here's our new speed. One, two, one, two, ready, play. One, two, four, two. if you can keep up at that speed. That's a challenge. Great work. All right, how we will finish our practicing for the day is with lesson three. So flip over to lesson three. This is page nine. <clears throat> All righty, so this page, the only new things that we should worry about is a time signature of three, four. So now instead of counting one, two, three, four, or counting one, two, one, two, we're going to count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? And we're also learning about repeat signs, which we talked about in class. It's the two lines with the two dots, and that'll tell you to go back to the beginning and play the whole thing over again. Alrighty? So we are gonna practice numbers one and five together on this video, and we're gonna make sure all the numbers are written in. One, two, three, four, right? Um, and I would like you to do the whole page to practice, but for us to save some time, we are only gonna practice number one and number five together. Notice that number one has a time signature of four, four, so we're gonna count to four for this one, and it has a repeat sign. So once we get to the end, we're gonna go back and do the whole thing again without stopping. Great. Here we go, let's do it. One, two, lesson three, number one, two, ready, go. One. All right, let's skip ahead to number five. Number five, the, t the time signature is three, four. So we're gonna be counting one, two, three. One, two, three. You're also gonna notice there is another repeat sign. So we're gonna play number five two times through. Here we go. Number five, one, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two. Two. Ready, go. 
two. There you go. So again, this video is just over 10 minutes. So if you follow along with this video, you have done all the practicing that you need to do for the day, but you do have to practice this entire page. So don't forget to do two, three, four, and six as well. All in all, you'll definitely hit your practice goals if you can get through all those things. Don't forget, there will be a quiz on number six on lesson two next class. So give that one some extra attention and write down your minutes by writing on the top row the day that you practice, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day it is. And on the second row, writing down your uh, minutes that you've practiced, 10 minutes or so. So enjoy your practicing.